Let's take a look at the used Toyota Tacoma market. What's out there available for sale? Maybe you're a little disenfranchised with the pricing and the engine setup and all of that on the 2024 Tacoma, but you're having trouble finding any other Tacoma as well. So we're going to take a look at the CarMax website. I love CarMax. I've bought several used vehicles from them over the years. I've always had great luck. Plus, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can drive that thing for 30 days or 1,500 miles and give it back if you want. I mean, where else can you do that? So let's flip over here to CarMax. And by the way, let me tell you right off, I am not affiliated with CarMax in any way. So what I've done here, I selected Toyota Tacoma under 30,000 miles because I think that's a good range to stay under on any used vehicle. 2022 or newer because I want to have at least a year of factory warranty left in case anything should go wrong. Then I did a nationwide search. I came up with 55 matches. Now, if you're not familiar, CarMax will ship most of what they have anywhere within the U.S. You have to pay for the shipping and that money is non-refundable whether or not you take the truck or not. And that is up to you. Just because you have them bring a truck to your local CarMax store does not mean you have to accept it. You lose that shipping money, but you don't have to go ahead and buy the vehicle. So I'm going to limit this even further. You can see over here on the left, uh, we have the different trim levels, limited, SR, SR5, TRD Off-Road, and TRD Sport. For this video, I'm going to pick just the SR5 because for me, that's probably the best trim level that I can get for modding and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to show us, I believe, nine matches, nine trucks to choose from. Obviously, if you went with something else like a TRD off-road or a sport, there are more. And if you increase the mileage, obviously, you'd get more examples as well or more trucks that are available. So let's start at the top. We have a 2022 $30,998 with only 20,000 miles. I mean, how can you beat that? And if I was to ship it from El Elcott, Ellicott City, wherever that is, uh, to me down here in extreme South Texas, it cost me $949. Moving on, we have another SR5. They're all SR5s. It's a 2022, $32,998, 22,000 miles. Again, barely anything for the Tacoma, right? $799 to ship that to me from Savannah, Georgia. Moving on, we have a 2023, $33,998 with only 7,000 miles. Uh, it cost $1,199 to ship it to me from Renton, uh, Washington, I guess. Not familiar with uh, where that is either. Going on to the next one. Uh, it's a 2023, $34,998 with 15,000 miles. Uh, it cost $1,599 to ship that from Edison, New Jersey. That's quite a distance from me. That's one where I think shipping might be cost prohibitive. Although if I looked at that truck and it had everything I wanted, maybe I'd be willing to spend that dough to get it here. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have a 2023 for 34998 with, again, 7,000 miles. It would cost $1,199 to ship it from Pulley Up. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, Washington. The next one is a 2023 $35,998 with 10,000 miles. $399 to ship it to me from El Paso or El Paso, Texas. I'm in extreme South Texas. That's why you see such a low number there. $10,000, that's pretty good. Uh, or 10,000 miles, I should say. Next, we have a 2023 with 36,900 or $36,998. 13,000 miles would cost $699 to ship it to me from Louisville, Louisville, or Louisville, uh, Kentucky. Not bad at all. Moving on, we have two left. We have a 2023, $38,998. Seems to be a, a theme across the, the way here, at least the $998 part. Uh, 17,000 miles 
Wow, $649 to ship it to me from Orlando, Florida. Lastly, another 2023. These trucks are all like brand new. I mean, 2023s, we just barely turned into 2024, right? $38,998, 1,000 miles. $649 shipping from uh, Warner Robins. Not sure where that is. Let's pull this one up. It looks like it's white or silver. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see. Um, does it say? It's silver. Okay, it is silver in color. It is four-wheel drive. Um, does have the remainder of the warranty on it. So again, $649 to ship it here. You can even buy it online. If you look over here to the right, it shows you can buy it online. And they even give you an estimated date as to when it would be in your local store, or your local CarMax. For me, it would be January 22nd through January 30th. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. As far as options on this thing, it's got your standard stuff on it. Not, uh, not a whole lot of craziness. One owner, that's always good. And then I love how they give you these reports, this auto check thing, you know, no frame damage, no odometer problems, tires and wheels are good. I did find on the last vehicle that I bought from CarMax that if you find something wrong with a vehicle, something you don't like, they will correct it. So don't think just because they won't dicker on price, which they won't, they will fix things on the car or provide other things if things are missing, like manuals or things like that. Now, one other thing uh, I wanted to note down here, they do show a, uh, a safety recall section. Uh, you can check that out if you want. Now, this is important, the warranty part, because it is a used vehicle, and I, I think CarMax probably has the best one out there. Again, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee up to 1,500 miles, and a 90-day or 4,000-mile limited warranty. That means that for 90 days, you can take it in. It is limited, but have things repaired. In this case, we also have the balance of the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty. Now, they do offer an additional warranty that you can buy, and I think it's anywhere between, it used to be $1,500 and $2,000. I don't know what it is these days. I would not recommend that, but it's there if you want it. Just if you want that little extra peace of mind. This says coverage up to 150,000 miles or 60 months. And then there are deductibles on it. It says they start at $50 per visit. So if you were to go ahead and, and pony up the money to get that extra warranty, just keep in mind, it's not free like it is with the manufacturer's warranty. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of look at my favorite place anyway for used vehicles, CarMax, to kind of provide another avenue for anybody out there. I had a comment recently, somebody left a, a note stating that they're trying to buy a 2023, they can't find it anywhere, their dealers can't get them in. Well, here's an option for you. If you happen to have a CarMax nearby, you can do all this yourself. And having done it, I can tell you it's pretty darn seamless. Leave a comment. Let me know. Ever bought anything from CarMax? How'd it go for you? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.